Hello everyone, so for this video, I'll be installing the Ryzen 5 2600 processor on this MSI B450 Gaming Plus motherboard. So taking out the processor itself from the plastic container. Uh, before, before we do that though, uh, let's unlock the mechanism from the motherboard slot. Then make sure to follow the markings on the slot itself to align it with the marking on the parts. The cell marking can be found in the lower left of the processor. And let's not forget to lock the mechanism again. Make sure that the processor itself doesn't move within the slot. Next, we'll be installing the pair of HyperX 8GB RAM on this same motherboard. Taking out the first of the two sticks from its plastic container. And just a note, uh, this specific motherboard has four Velo RAM, RAM slots. Uh, I'll be installing the two sticks into the second and the fourth slot. So this stick, first stick, I insert it into the second slot. That's um, counting from the left, uh, given that the position of the motherboard is right. Uh, in this current view, it's the second from the bottom. And the second stick, again as mentioned, installed on the fourth uh, slot on the motherboard. Uh, this is to be able to take advantage of the uh, dual channel capability of uh, this pair of RAM sticks. Just make sure to press down firmly, or at least firm enough, that the locks on both sides of the slots uh, are secured into place. Up next, we'll be installing the NVMe SSD onto the motherboard. Uh, this motherboard, as you can see, has four available um, positionings for the um, it's not a screw, but for the for the mount of the uh, NVMe SSD. So by default, it was um, placed on the farthest um, hole that's available on the motherboard. So since the NVMe SSD we are using here is the 2280 variant, uh, we should move it to the second or the next hole, which is this one. that now that's done um, you can now install the NVMe SSD itself
when it comes to uh, installation of an NVMe SSD, I just make sure to uh, not force the unit into the available slot. Uh, it should be inserted at a specific angle. If I'm not mistaken, around 30 degrees. Um, so if it doesn't go in all the way during your first attempt, uh, make sure to not force it since this um, uh, I guess device is very thin and can be quite sensitive and the ends can actually break. So once you are able to um, secure it inside the slot or in place, then you should not forget to um, of course install the screw that will hold the NVMe SD in place which makes it um, I guess parallel to the other screw. So that's it for this video, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.